Hey guys, this is Rogue Sims 7. I just want to make a quick video about some new Ready Fighter products that just recently came out, or may have came out a while ago, I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is their Ready Fighter base plates, the Zevtex style base plates, which are really, really cool. Um, especially this red one over here. This red one is just absolutely fantastic. Really cool looking. And uh, this is their Ready Fighter um, Magwell, uh, Zevtag Magwell. This is one of the updated ones. Uh, this Zevtag Magwell, is, I think it's meant for the concealed carry market. It's super, super low profile compared to other magwells. It's really, really tiny. Like, uh, this is the RWA Agency Arms magwell. Notice that it has the same cut uh, cutout at the back over here. So that makes the butt of the gun a little bit more low profile. Doesn't stick out as much. For example, um, I, this, is like, this looks a lot like the Sentinel Concepts one. It sticks out by quite a bit, as you can see. And notice that the side structure is a lot smaller on the Zevtech. So this is this is a super super low profile. This is extremely low profile. And I have a real one right over here. This is a real one. They look exactly identical. Pretty much identical. So this is this is the this is the ready fighter. This is the real one. Excuse me. Now the only thing that's not different is the markings at the back, but that's not too important, right? So, so the fit, so the Ready Fighter has a little bit more markings, but you know, more or less the same. Actually, the coating and everything is very similar. It's very similar in terms of the aesthetics, like in terms of the coating. Very, very close. Very, very spot on. I, I really appreciate this. Like. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. If you're making accessories like this, make it look right. I you know. I mean, Re Ready Fire did a very good job with this magwell. This is this is like my favorite magwell out of all the other magwells that you can possibly get for the Glock, is because it's it's pathetically tiny, but it adds a little bit more style to it. I know. That's the reason why I like this a lot, and it's really lightweight. And another thing worth noting is that you see this piece over here that interfaces into your Glock frame, this thing over here, it's one piece. It cannot be taken off. There's no screws at the bottom over here, it's just one piece. Just like the real steel one. Normally, the Airsoft Glock ones, you can take it off. As well as some real, uh, uh, some real, some real steel Glock magwells, you can also take off the, uh, this piece over here, that goes into the uh, insert area for your frame. But in this case, uh, the Zevtech ones are entirely one piece. I think that's what partially makes it so tiny compared to some other magwells. So this is this might be a good little addition to your, whatever Glock you're using because it looks pretty good, and it doesn't have Zevtech markings all over the place, so it just looks like a it just looks like a functional magwell, uh, right? The only Zevtech thingy is right over there. And that's the magwell. Now let's go over the uh, base plates. So the base plates are super, super nice. Now, the I don't know which one I like better, the black one or the red one. Like, they both look really cool. Just, just look at that. It's probably the best looking base plate I've ever seen. So let's look at the red one. Uh, actually, let's first talk about what comes with the package. So um, these things retail for two hundred ninety-five Hong Kong dollars. The base plate, uh, the magwell is about two hundred something Hong Kong dollars. So in in USD, I, I assume this is like around forty US dollars. Not that not super crazy expensive. And what it comes with is that it comes with a high flow valve. It comes with the locking tab. This locking tab locks the bottom of the base plate. Is because Normally you charge your gas over here, right? You need to be able to remove this base plate. So the locking tab is what locks this in place. That's what that is for. You have to use this if you're using these. You have to use this. They also give you a longer screw. Now this screw, um, you have to use the O-ring as well as the shim when you install this. Uh, and how it works is that I'll briefly show you right now. So the bottom of the base plate over here can be removed like so. Do note that 
when you close it, there seems to be a very, very tiny gap over here. This gap is normal. It's because right off the bat, if you look in here, it's aligned up with the hole for the locking tab already. You might not be able to see it on camera, but it's already locked up with the locking tab. So this is the proper position. Okay? It cannot go it cannot go uh, deeper into the mat into the bottom. And after you remove the bottom, this red part over here, this whole entire red part is just a shell. Now it appears that there is this thing over here that you can take off. And this shell, you can start taking it off by torquing off the screw. Take off the screw, and then you can take off the shell. And then there's this polymer piece on top. This polymer piece is what gives the top part its a uh, its a red and black two tone look, right? So yeah, all, all really cool looking. So whenever you're assembling this, I recommend you just put all this stuff aside for now and uh, just work on this first. It's because there is a area here for your seal. Uh, this is These are all functional base plates. They actually extend the gas vessel of your, of your magazine. Uh, so what you do is that you put on your seal. This screw hole over here, this is for your long screw. That's, that's where it goes. And you see this other hole over here? That's where your fill valve goes in. So when your fill valve goes in here, that's this is roughly where it sits. So the fill valve is actually sitting on a very stable area. Uh, that's the reason why they machined it so close to this wall over here. And also because of the position of the thing, you can't really change it. But but it's very stable. It's very uh, well protected. Right over there. You can You can see it's right on the edge of the hole. Now, uh, one thing that's worth noting is that compared to this, it doesn't have the silver tube. Uh, this silver tube, what this basically does is that it limits the amount of gas that goes into the magazine. This is basically a limiter. And the reason why it limits the amount of gas is to balance up the liquid to gas ratio. If this ratio is not balanced, what will happen is that gas will come out of your magazine in liquid form instead of gas form. And that causes a few problems. So just be wary that these things, they do not have this tube, and you cannot transfer this tube. Just be wary of that. But then again, this is, is a, a gas extension. So basically, all you have to do is just control the amount of gas you put into this. So just be wary of that. I'm not entirely sure what the number is or how many seconds you should be filling it. But just be wary, you might have to play around with that a little bit. Okay. I don't know why. Why is there a rubber band on this? I think this rubber band is to prevent the back, this top black part from coming off. So this black part, you can actually just pull the top off. But um, there's a rubber band in here. There's a rubber band keeping it in place, I think. So it prevents this from from bouncing around when it's inside the, the packaging. See? Oops. Very, very cool base plate. I, I'm so glad they decided to make this base plate. And I'm so glad they made it right. It's because it actually looks really cool. Really, really cool. Just gonna reassemble everything. So right now, our Ready Fighter actually makes all of our Zeftech accessories then. So because of this base plate, um, and this magwell, they also make a few other things that you guys may be already aware of if you watch my channel. So they also make the, the trigger, the Zevtech style trigger. Notice that it has no holes on one side, but it has holes on the other side, and that's the Zevtech thing right there. These are like a hundred these this is 190 Hong Kong dollars. Pretty affordable. And they also make the uh, These Zeftech style magazine release, and they also make these in different colors as well. So just be wary of that. So basically, all your Zeftech accessories are covered. Now the reason why I'm showing you guys all this is because we can finally complete all of our Zeftech builds. Personally, I'm working on a 17L build again, and the reason why is because um, I just recently sold my Glock 17L to someone in the United States. I hope you enjoy it. 
And uh, the reason why I sold that 17L is because this particular one, this 17L that I have over here, I have the uh, the dimpled barrel. Check that out. Ooh -hoo -hoo. That's really cool. So just because of this, I value this kit a little bit more. So that's what I'm gonna be building. I will be filming it, I guess, for you guys to see. But I can't. I can't wait to do this build. I've been waiting to build a 17L with a few more nice accessories. Like th this, basically tops it off. This red thing. This oh, just tops it off like crazy. So I can't wait to do this build. This is the build I've been waiting to do for a very long time. Finally have the opportunity to build this thing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. I also have a Facebook page that you can follow me on, in which I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you'd like to support the channel, please visit my website at raytacticalsolutions.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy shooting. Peace.